Hi folks, it's back from GalaxyS2Root.com. So I've got a quick ROM overview of Alliance ROM. This is a TouchWiz uh, based Android 4.1.2 ROM. I got running both on my Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 International version and also AT&T SGHI 777. Uh, let me just grab uh, one of them. They're pretty pretty much identical ROMs. Um, the I, this is the, actually the original. The i77 is a port, uh, but uh, pretty much the same ROM. Very nice ROM. Um, I did an overview of this ROM when it was ICS. Now it's back uh, better than ever with the latest Jelly Bean here. Um, there we go, Android 4.1.2. And one of the cool things about this ROM is that there's no home button lag, even with the double tap enabled. Um, you can see that I'm going pretty darn fast between apps. And you can still do the double tap really fast. Um, so if you want Samsung Voice, I'll go there. Uh, it comes with just a regular camera that just looks like Photosphere camera, but this is just a regular um, standard S2 camera, which works well, uh, quite well actually. And also, let's take some photos real quick. And boom. And uh, I believe there is actually shutter option. Let me see here. And no, no, there's no shutter options for this one. Um, but very nice if you want to enable multi view since um, the back button on this one if you hold it down it will force close any apps you're running so if you hold it down while you're running browser it will close it uh, for quick access you have to go to settings and uh, display here and you have to enable disable multi window enable it once and then you'll be able to see the multi view and the tap kind of stays on forever um, you know, it's not too bad since it's also transparent tap, but it is enabled for all apps. Um, so you can go grab your favorite apps and uh, multitask all you want all day long. And I didn't sign into my Gmail, so it's asking actually asking me. Uh, but working very well. Some of the other ROMs I've tested this week, uh, you know, it's supposed to work. The the, the multi view supposed to work. It doesn't work so. I was going to review some of those ROMs and then I was like, uh oh, it's not working. Um, settings, you'll find Alliance Control. Um, the only thing really you have to worry about is custom settings here, uh, where you can customize a bunch of stuff. You can get up to one, two, three, four, five different lock screens there. Um, there you go. Let me just show you one of them. Um, jelly Bean there, so you can change your lock screen easily there. And also, if you want ink effect, you'll have to choose the Galaxy S3 Ripple. And let's choose a color, some bright. And also, make sure you, the alpha goes up because that's the actual color. If the alpha is down here, it's actually not going to show. So, um, there we go. And boom. Uh, we've got ink effect there. And also, Acer LG background, you can set those. A lock screen is torch. This is very nice. Just hit the center button once, hit it another time, hold it down. If you unhold it, the locks, uh, the torch will turn off. And also long press to skip a song. Um, if you want to do a long press uh, with the volume, you can skip songs while your phone is off. No, while it's in a uh, lock screen. And uh, also phone mods here. You can auto record calls, incoming or outgoing. Very nice uh, for spies and people who work in that kind of field that need it. Uh, more options here. Uh, screenshot and power menu. So you can take screenshots if you want. There you go. Uh, makes it simple. And also UI mods. This is kind of neat. Uh, status bar. You can change all of the colors. Let's say I want the Wi-Fi icon color. Uh, again, I'm going to do a yellow here. Again, make sure you mess with the alpha because if it's down here, it's not going to change the color at all. So go a little bit higher. It will not show up, so um, you will have to restart UI to update. You can either reboot. Um, oops, if you go back here, you can restart UI there. Um, that will restart the UI, and you should have the yellow um, UI there. It sh I think I just saw it, and then it just went away for some reason. Um, signal co icon color, let's try changing this to light blue. And actually, this one you don't have to restart the UI, it's just working. 
Um, so go ahead and play with that, and you can change all the colors you want. Uh, very nice. Very nice. And um, other than that, there's also blocking mode if you want. Uh, pretty nice ROM. Check it out. Uh, available for both the GTI 9300. If you want multi-window, um, you know, and also you want some of these customizations, uh, definitely another rice, nice ROM you can install on your GTI 9100 or the AT&T SGH i777. Uh, looking actually pretty darn good here. And uh, yeah, do let me know what you think. Um, and that's the ROM of the week. And I've been using it actually on some of my other phones. Alliance ROM is great. A great stable ROM with the features you want. Uh, Alliance ROM has it. So check it out for your GTI 93. 100, um, sorry if I said i9300, uh, or the SGHI 777. Uh, try it out this week or this weekend, and do let me know what you think of these ROMs. Oh, there you go, the color did change. You can barely notice it there. Uh, and do let me know what you think. And if you have a Galaxy S2, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there, and I'll see you guys soon. Um, and uh, yeah, stay high on Android. Yeah.